When was the last time I did line art? I don't even know. Don't know. But, welcome to another YouTube Artist Collective video! If you don't know what that is, scroll down and read the description to this video to find out. In addition, tons of other amazing artists are participating in this, so their links to their channels are down below as well. And you should totally check them out and subscribe to them, show them some love, tell them I sent you because they are amazing. We chose a theme that technically you guys chose, actually. You guys chose this theme. We did not. The Zodiac, and all of us are doing different ones, so this is kind of cool. Anyway, if you like what you see on my channel, I encourage you to subscribe and join my art family. Leave a comment down below and introduce yourself so we can get to know you. How exciting. The zodiac that I chose is Virgo, and I'll just be honest with you guys, I don't really know much about horoscopes and all the zodiac stuff, so I had to do a lot of research. <laughs> Not to sound ignorant or anything, it's just never been something that, like, I have read up on, really. I mean, maybe in, like, junior high school, but yeah. Anyway, I... Thought it was really fun learning about it and making this piece symbolic to the Virgo. As we go through this video, I'm going to tell you why I drew certain things to correspond to this zodiac. And it was really fun to do this, so I hope you enjoy this video. First, I decided to do line art, which, as I said, when do I even do that anymore? I don't even know. I don't know why I decided to do this, but it just kind of felt right for this piece. <laughs> the aesthetic that I wanted to convey, I guess, felt right. I drew her eyes closed, and this means so many things, and I, I guess I'll start by this. Virgos allegedly are people who really love to analyze situations. Sometimes they can become overwhelmed. They can be critical of things, especially themselves. Like they can like kind of wallow in their own self-pity if, you know, they build up all these goals and they can't reach them. They're just kind of like disappointed. Um, sometimes they just like dream up of things that they plan to do and stuff. So they're constantly like analyzing and thinking things over so I kind of had her eyes closed just to show, like, hmm, she's pondering something. The next thing I would like to explain on this is her hair and her dress. You can tell she's dressed very modestly. She has a very long dress on with long flowy sleeves, and her hair is long and flowy too. Later, when I color this picture, You'll see that her makeup is very minimal too. I did all of this to make her appear very modest because when I looked up pictures of other Virgos, I saw that a lot of people drew wings on her and I just didn't really want my character to have wings. Um, I know there's probably going to be a couple people that comment down below like who will tell me you don't really know what you're talking about kind of thing. Um, this is just kind of my interpretation. You are totally free to interpret it differently, but this is the route I decided to take. Plus, Virgos supposedly are like very innocent and purity is like a theme here, so I kind of felt like the modesty kind of fit with that too. And I really like dresses and long hair, so that was another reason. <laughs> so, I kept the color soft and I decided to add this little sprig of lavender in her hands. So this is symbolic to this being an earth sign. So Virgo is an earth sign. I felt like having some sort of bit of nature in there to convey that would be great. And I really love plants so I thought it would be fun to incorporate that anyway. It's very fitting that this was an earth sign. <laughs> 
The next thing you will see me doing here is I am painting the background a solid color. So you're probably wondering, wow, maybe this had a lot of potential if you would have actually like done a background. Well, this is symbolic for something too. So Virgos really like order and organization and they are known to be perfectionists. So I wanted the background to be as simple and smooth as possible to convey that like they really need to be in control of this perfectionistic kind of thing that they have going and just make it seem very orderly, organized, there's no clutter in the background, and I felt like that really fit for what I was trying to say there. <laughs> Next, you will notice her anatomy is not proportional, and this is on purpose, so her head is like very big for her body. And she kind of has lanky appendages and stuff, and that was just like the stylistic approach, the, like the lankiness, but the head is huge. And that is also to symbolize like she's constantly like analyzing and dreaming stuff up. Since there's lots of like thoughts whizzing through her mind and this can become overwhelming, I wanted her head to just be slightly larger, so it seems like, wow, she really is thinking about all this stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much all the symbolism behind it, and I don't know, what do you think about horoscopes and stuff like that? I I think it's interesting to learn about it. I don't really believe that they're true, but it's kind of fun just to read up on, I guess. So, this was an interesting, fun learning experience for me, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Oh yeah, there is one more symbolic thing here, and you'll see me add it in a couple seconds but it is the constellation for the Virgo, and it's going to be up in the corner soon, so watch out for that. I had to touch up a lot of lines because they just weren't smooth and stuff. The gouache kind of covered them, but yeah, that's what I used, gouache paint, and I really enjoyed this piece. It came out as like a very soft, fun piece, I guess. So I really enjoyed it, and thank you guys for choosing this theme. If you want to be involved in picking the next theme, check out our Facebook page. That's linked below. And thank you guys for watching. Now that you're pretty much done watching my video, I strongly suggest that one, you subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and two, you check out everybody else in the collective, watch their videos, and subscribe to them. Tell them I sent you, and have fun. Go binge watch some art. Yeah. Have a good day and thank you so much for watching, guys.